So we turn our attention now to men's singles. Peter Gaeta of Denmark, as you can see, up against Lynn Dan, the former champion. Number two and three seeds coming through to semi-finals at the bottom half of the draw, and it's all for the right to play against the world number one, Lee Chong Wei. So Peter Horgeda, the number three seed from Denmark, up against Lin Dan, the number two seed from China. So there is the Olympic champion. Three times he's been world champion. In fact, he reached four consecutive world championship finals. That was between 2005 and 2009. Chiturut Thanukarapat of Thailand is the umpire. Comic Breslin of Ireland, the service judge. So Peter Gaida. Well, this world championships he has fought his way through but it's a tall order against the olympic champion because the world number two has been so efficient with all of his matches so far well his win-loss record for the year says 37 and two but a couple of uh, withdrawals from tournaments the uh, Malaysian quarterfinal, the final in Singapore. And therefore, those withdrawals partway through or in the final don't Doesn't go down as count, a loss. But he really has been so good so far. Look at that. All of his matches in two straight games, including against the number 12 seed, Lee Hyun Il. The two left-handers in the third round and quarter-final show Suzaki, the number 11 seed. And not one of his matches lasting more than 45 minutes. Now, that really is quite a contrast to his opponent of today. Because Peter Gaida, the 34-year-old from Orborg, well, he has battled and battled. The world number three. My goodness, hasn't he stayed at the top of world badminton for such a long time? His win-loss record for the year translates into three finals already. And that was the Super Series final, India and Indonesian Super Series as well. Well, look at that. His last two matches against the number 13 seed, Simon Santosa, and then the number seven seed, Tian Min Nguyen of Vietnam. Well, you have to wonder, those last two matches from Peter Gaida, an hour and 15 minutes and an hour and 22 minutes. And I have to say, Morton, at the end of his match yesterday against Tian Min Nguyen, he looked exhausted. <laughs> that's Is that a fair comment? <laughs> it's to put it mildly. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's an understatement of the big ones. So he was he was finished. He was down and out. But I think he played such a good game. He did yeah. everything possible, and he actually won it. I thought that was really great. A uh, great admiration for that match. Yeah, he just came through on sheer guts, really, didn't yes, he? Yes, absolutely. Looking at our court officials, Thani Karapat of Thailand. There she is, the umpire, and Cormac Abrozlin of Ireland. Well, Peter Gaida first started uh, winning medals at World Championships back in 1999. And look at this, 18th meeting between these two men and rather much in favor of Lin Dan, has to be said, including the last time they met, which was the semi-final in Singapore. Which was a very good tournament though, for Peter. So one wonders what Peter Gaida has got left 
after those marathon matches in the last two rounds. Well, we're about to find out. Well, a magnificent smash. Yep. Can't complain of that one. Interesting to see that Peter starts with a high serve. That's quite unusual in the men's game these days. But yesterday he did it as well with great uh, success, I think. So maybe that's uh, what he's trying to follow up on. out way out Morton, I want to pick up on your point there a very different player though for uh, as Peter Gator's opponent yesterday in TM in Nguyen he doesn't have the weapons with his overhead shots he doesn't have the same number of winners whereas no. I think Lindan is very very dangerous overhead he is but it's all about whether he's actually using it sometimes you will see Lindan just quite happy playing the the shots around and not really going for a lot of initiative and, and just, uh, you know, winning on sheer respect. And and um, th I think the whole clue when you play Lindan is that uh, you got to force him out of his shell. Well, when they did meet in the semi-final of the Singapore Open, it went to three games, Peter Gaeta won the first and Morton you were coaching him on that occasion coaching, yes. that you know now I know you're not coaching him on this occasion yeah. but what would you have said what did you say prior to the Singapore semi-final what tactics did you say he had to use and it's so important he's doing what he did just there using uh, using the um, the baseline as what he's doing there Peter had a strong tendency to play everything down that means that he's, he's attacking, he's playing drop shots, slice shots, uh, half smashes, smashes. But he's got to use the baseline. He's got to use that clear. And if he's not using that, he cannot move Lindan enough. So the whole idea is obviously he's got to play towards the end of the court as well. That's it. Yeah. But that's well, it. Good patient game. And then obviously uh, keep it going for, for as long as possible. And, and please remember to use that baseline. That's a lucky shot. But, uh, now, to a lot of people, they'll possibly be very surprised by that comment because Lindan is so good in his attacking play. But what you're talking about probably is the faster shot to the back so that Lindan can't actually have time to, you know, leap in the air, outmaneuver him first before you go for the winners. Yeah, but the, the thing is with Lindan, he, 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 he only attacks when he really needs to attack and yeah. when he's desperate and all that. And, and sometimes even if he's against a very good solid defence, he gives up attacking. And, and if Peter's playing too simple, keeping it down the whole time. Then Dan will just move forward and forward and forward the whole time and then push him on that. Well, this has been a brilliant start for Peter Gaeta. Big high serve again. Yeah. Overdone it. Yeah, but again, the idea is fine. If you look at it, Lindan's smash was uh, just a half smash. OK, uh, he, he still won it, but Peter should not have made that mistake. But, you know, I think the idea is fine. Lindan was not going for the 100% smash. Which he will now. Yeah. Much shorter lift. Yeah, it was set off really nicely at the net. Lift too short, and then that's when he's going for it. But if he's got his feet 
in between the two lines, he's much more likely not to, to attack. Oh, great angle. Well, in the last rally, we saw the power play from Lindan, 279 kilometers an hour. That's uh, very nearly 174 miles per hour. This time, it just goes for a cute angle. Yes, just uh, what we call a half smash. Much more like a whip. Well, huge respect these men have for each other. And that was a very nice touch from Lindan, who just pointed out to Peter Gader that he thought the court might be still yeah. a little bit slippery. There's still a spot. I think we actually saw the difference between Lindan today and Lindan, let's say, four or five years ago. Was the first one uh, where Peter's lifting it, Lindan chooses to play the clear. Then it comes the second time, then he's attacking it. Four or five years ago, he would have go, gone all out on the first one. Yeah. That's the difference in Lindan's game today. Thought in the Olympic final in oh, Beijing. It, that was it was awesome. Awesome. And it was it was all out attack right from the start of everything, I've, wasn't it? I've never seen anything like it. Yeah. Of course, he beat Li Chongwei in the final in Beijing, and Li Chongwei not, already through to the final tomorrow of these World Championships. But it was not that he beat him; it was the way he beat him. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Movement forward from Gaida, I have to be honest, looked a little bit laboured. Yeah. Well, well, so far he's in the game, so that's good. Yeah, six straight points though from Lindan from 1 6 down. No, he's just missed it. It's just wide. Yeah. He was mistiming it a bit. You can hear the, the shot was not really well hit. Oh. Or was it? Yeah, I think, you know, I, I can guarantee you that Peter, he would have complained <laughs> had it yeah. been. So. Fair comment. <laughs> yeah. 36 career titles for Peter Gaida. But his opponent, Lin Dan, 43. Mm. It's extraordinary, isn't it? Quite a few. Mind you, you won 30 something, 33 Grand Prix titles, I think. Yeah, Grand Prix titles, and then you add on all the other ones as well. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, no. Uh, Fair comment. Grand Prix, of course, was the there, premier there were, events yeah, but there in, were not in our so day. Many, not so many in those days as, yeah. as what's today. So, but in those days, we did not have the same statistics as what we have today either. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Back level. I think in a way the crowd here are, are divided about where the support is because so many people have looked forward yes. to, the, yes. to the Olympic champion playing against the world number one, possibly in the final. That obviously would be Lee Chong Wei, who's already there against Lin Dan. But sentimentally, you've yes. got to want Peter Gaeta playing in his last world championships, and the 34-year-old. Absolutely, and he's got a lot of followers here in England as well. Yeah. So uh, I, I totally agree with you. That's, uh, it's mixed feelings. Yeah. Well, 
He's guaranteed a fifth World Championship medal this year, but he's never won the gold. Best for Peter Gaeta was a silver in Seville in 2007, in 2001. I must say I know the feeling only too well. Yeah, two silver medals for two you. Two silvers for me, yes. Yeah. Lost to Chinese players both times, both. Han Yan and Yang Yang. 85 and 87, Seven. if I remember correctly, yeah. Great chop shot. Yeah. That was covered by Peter. He would have won the next one. Had it not been a mistake, that one, he would have won on the next shot. Look how ready he is for the next one. Almost looked as if he changed his mind, Lin Dan, mm. there. Control at the net from Gerda. <laughs> Danish coaches Lars who are on the left. left. We looked at them. Klaus Paulsen on the right. Recovery, really quick, Peter. Well, it's the Dane that has the advantage at the mid-game interval. Three straight points for 11-10 advantage. Well, Morton, what's Lars saying there? I think they're just talking about what happened and, you know, he's got to be a bit careful. It looks like Lindan is uh, standing back on the court a little and, and not really pushing at the front of the court and all that. And maybe he's told to do differently now. And, you know, it's just a chat about what's been going on. And uh, But we, we are fairly satisfied. Yeah. <laughs> So he's he's not given any instructions about no. the change of tactics no. or anything like no, that. No. Okay. There's lots of satisfaction in how it's going so far. Yeah, I should think so too. But in all honesty, you have to say if if Peter Gaeta is to reach the final of these World Championships, if he went a game down, I, I think that physically and mentally that could be the end of him. He has to win this first game. I, and he I, probably has to win in two straight if he's yes, going to win. Yes. I, I think you're, you're right, but it, it's, it's really funny how the mind works now and again. And um, I don't know if you can remember, a few, few years back, uh, Peter and the Danish team flew to Malaysia. And he had... Um, First ever Malaysian Open, 2000 and, uh, the Super Series event, 2007. I can't remember what taken year it was. Taken to the hospital. He was taken to the hospital. Yep. And the thing was, he came out of hospital and won the tournament. Yep. And the reason why he did it, in my book, 
is that his own expectations were so low yep. that he, he just played so relaxed and he actually won the tournament. And maybe here, because of the fact that he's been having to fight so hard in the last two matches, he, he sort of have lower expectations of what he would have had normally. And thereby, he's actually playing a very good first set here. Yeah. So it, it, it works wonders sometimes. Yeah. I remember that very well indeed. It was indeed the first ever Super Series event, Malaysian Open in 2007. Super Series started that year. It's a good rally. That's OK. I think that's a fair chance to take. Lindan was uh, standing really well in his, his defence and Peter couldn't get through, couldn't find the, the opening. Going for the shots and I think that's perfectly OK to do that. Taking everything into consideration. an awesome angle he's hitting there. Yeah. That one there. Lots of people have discussed whether he's the greatest player ever. Yeah. And um, Very rightly so. You think? I think it was certainly with, you know, the fact that he's won three world absolutely, championships, absolutely. Olympic Games. If you go yeah. on results plus his style of play, yeah. I have to say the... F the most uh, astonishing badminton player, I think, that burst onto the world scene was Zhao Jinhua. Yes, in uh, in the mid 80s. That's right. Yeah. First year, I think he came to the All England. He beat you in the final. Yes, he did. And because he didn't, we obviously didn't have Olympic Games in those days. We only had World Championships mm. every two years. Yeah. You know, the the opportunities to win those big events didn't come along. Well, so often, in the no. Olympics, didn't come along at all. No. So. We now judge things by the Olympic Games, by the World Championships, but there are m more opportunities for the players now. Absolutely. It's a, it's a totally different ball game today. Apologises for hitting his opponent. Judgment as long as the back line. This is where Gaida has got to dig deep. We're left. About 14 15. Yeah. Not bad. And I, I think that Peter is thoroughly enjoying this match. I really think he is, and I, I think that's great. He, he plays and, and, and play the best he can, and, and I think he's going for his shots, he's moving well. I don't think he's, ha as I say, has got great expectations, and that's probably why he's playing so well. Yeah, we talked yesterday, didn't we, Morton, uh, about the fact that Peter Gator, the pressure was on him because he was the higher seed playing against Yan Min Yuan, mm. but you were quick to emphasise the point that all the pressure was coming from within. Yes. It was his expectations on himself. And therefore, if he's not got expectations, mm. as, as you're surmising, then different okay. ball game. Absolutely. Yeah. 
uh, scored quite quite a number of points on that one now and Peter have to watch out yeah you just have this sense or I certainly do that Lindan can go to a, a higher level yeah a, but a higher pace he can but for how long yeah I think that's that's the whole secret for how long and that's why I think he's uh, hiding it a bit by playing it around four years ago he would have attacked both of those shots now I have a theory about this I know obviously he's older than four years ago <laughs> and at the age of 27 you know after years and years of training but I wonder about the influence of his coach, Georges Ranger, because Georges Ranger, as a player, if you remember, oh, yes. was a basi basically a runner. Yeah. There he is, nearest to us, or the world champion from 2003. And I think his influence on the way that Lindan is playing now has changed Lindan's outlook on the game of how he's approaching it. Mm, and be. maybe not for the better. Not, maybe not for the better. Very good. There's the sudden injection of pace from Lindan. That quick movement back in court. Back he goes. Yeah, good shot. And his recovery too. That's out. Come on, Peter. Stay with him, keep cool, play your shots. Yes, good return of serve. Yeah, good height. Coming over, yes. Oh, uh, here we go. Here we go, that's a brilliant play. I can't see anyone picking up that smash. No. Two eighty one. Well, without question the fastest single smash, I think, in the tournament so far. But the placement was even worse. Yeah. That's that was so good. Well. Positive reaction and winning the point from Peter Gader. Seeing the error from Lindan. And the Dane is back level. Yeah, it's really been nip and tuck all the way, hasn't it, in this opening game? That's nice. Yeah, good control from very low. Oh, uh, yeah. Somehow, I really like the fact that he did not react. He did not react winning that shot, Peter. He said, OK, I'll take it. 21-19. Yeah. It is game point now to the 34-year-old Dane. 
just one game point opportunity. was a brilliant smash once again from Lindan. Desperation defence from the Dane. Well, 20 all and will require extra points until there's a clear two-point winning margin. short yeah got what it deserved all set up by the tight spinning net shot from Lindan well having just saved a game point Lindan now has a game point himself twitch in your seat there didn't you Morton yes I was a bit nervous but it's fantastic play again Peter good defense 27 minutes this opening game has been in progress and it's still not over yet 21 all straight yeah yeah well it was the net shot once again that did the damage got the net cord oh, the net play is so important of course the smashes look so spectacular and they're the winning shots but it's so often the net play that sets up the rally and look at the timing when he's jumping. Yeah. He hits it right at the top every single time. Second game point for Lindan. That's good. And a second time it's saved by Peter Gaida.
he kept his patience. Did Peter Gator. And his reward, a second game point opportunity. safely say Peter Gaida pretty pleased with that and so he should be the Olympic champion had two game point opportunities Peter Gaida played them so bravely and his reward the opening game 24 22 in 30 minutes of play So much expected of him. He is such a star in China. Morton, were you able to hear any of that? Yeah, I'm, I'm having a, a bit of fun here um, because I know them both so well. Um, I think, uh, as what we've been saying up here, Lars is saying, we have to exploit the, the, the backhand corner a bit more, the, the round ahead corner, because he's hitting too many winners from the forehand. Uh, still having to remember to, to use his clears and, and play to the to the baseline where Peter uh, is beginning to start to argue yeah but the other things is working as well you know yeah. and last reply yeah but you still have to use the baseline <laughs> so you know we're having a bit of fun here <laughs> wow. oh, that's nicely done from Lynn Dan of course we've discussed before that Peter Gator is a great believer that it's not just winning. You've got to win a certain way. It's the way you win. And he definitely wants to play his style of badminton. Yeah. And that was so good about the match yesterday, I think, because you said it so well when you said mind over matter. And, and that was exactly what it was yesterday. It was a Gotsy performance, yeah, and it was nothing about how it looked or nothing. It was just about getting the next point. Yeah, and I like that so much yesterday. See, he doesn't hit it. It's long enough. That's well played. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Good pace. But again, I think it's wise by Peter to let it go. He could have been chasing it. He could have been chasing it, but he he is accepting, and again conserving his energy for for the right moments. Yeah, block too loose. Got what it deserved from Lindan.
by Red. Oh, my goodness. Straight. Oh, OK. Well, that's very much mind games, isn't it? Those it net is. ex exchanges. They keep thinking the other one doesn't dare to do it. And they do. That's a clever shot. Out. Well, I hate to say this, Morton, but it is awfully reminiscent of the Singapore semi-final, the way this game <laughs> is going, this match is going. Yes, but you always have to have hope. Yeah, of course. Yes, because, of course, in Singapore, Peter Gator won a very tight opening game. That's nice. And come, come. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Yeah, stands his ground very well. I must say that he's been listening to Lars about playing more to the backhand corner and around the head corner. And, uh, it's an okay idea. There's not been these smashing opportunities from Linden from the forehand side. Well covered. Well, I don't think Gader was covering the cross-court no, net shot. No, he was going for, for that diagonal. He was going straight for it. He was going, look at that. He would never have got that one. Asian Games gold medalist to add to his Olympic gold. This man, five times European champion, never lost in the competition. Mm. Oh, super. Yep, it's from that forehand corner, though, isn't it? Such variety. Good judgment from Gaida. Both men really taking their time in between rallies. Definitely the advantage for Peter.
Well, this is worrying times for the Dane. Yeah. Nice drop. Yep. Oh. Exquisite. Not only a good angle, but also very, very short. Yeah, just remarkable. Look at that. He'd let the shuttle drop so low. And to play such a wonderful, accurate cross court drop was just marvellous. 11 5 his lead. Chinese coaches, very quick word with Lin Dan. They know what they want to do. <laughs> yeah. Well, the last time this man beat Lin Dan was 18 months ago in the quarterfinal of the Swiss Open. And he's not going to do it that way. So we are again into a situation where Peter has to make a decision. Keep fighting back in this set, letting it go, and then go for the third set. Six points is a lot to catch up when you play Lindan. So, in other words, you are suggesting that he just says, OK, this yeah. game is beyond me. Yes. Concentrate and on the third. Sometimes it's good when the coaches are taking that decision because uh, the player finds it so difficult to do it. So yeah, because instinctively, as a player, you're competitive. You want to fight the whole time. Yeah, and you have such pride into it, and sometimes uh, the brain has to take over. Yeah, I yeah. think he is letting it go. He is, he is. Yeah. No, that's uh, a good shot, but Gaida not really it's not pushing really. himself. No. Ten point advantage now to the Olympic champion. And if, as a, as a player, like Lin Dan in this situation now, he, he knows that Peter Gader isn't, oh, yes. isn't going for it. He's totally but, but, aware. But what does Lin Dan do? Does he try and extend the rallies even more and, and not play, <laughs> try and play winners? Or is he quite content with sort of saying, OK, right, well, I'll be ready for you in the decider? The last. Yeah. You know, you, you, can't, you can't force him to drink. Uh, you know, you can't extend the rallies. He, yeah. he will not go for them. So he, they're both of them preparing for the, the third set and say, OK, we just uh, go through the fa uh, paces there and then that's it.
Ja. <laughs> Lindan absolutely guessing as to where Peter Gader's <laughs> shot was going to come. And so he did. Yeah, he, he was standing at the net like a mixed doubles player. <laughs> Oops. A little wry smile from Peter Gader. Apologises once again. And it's looking more and more reminiscent to me of the Singapore semi-final. Yeah, well, let's hope we get a better third set. So you can't force the rallies. <laughs> well, just one point away from a deciding game. Wanting to even stretch for that. Nope. Well, 21 7. 47 minutes of play, and we will indeed be treated to a third and deciding game. I'm very, very relaxed in that two-minute timeout, prowling about, whereas the Danes deep in conversation. Just yeah. talking over what they've discussed all the time. There's nothing new. It's just the same things. Yeah, I did notice that Peter Gader was really shaking out the legs as if there's a lactic muscle, uh, lactic acid build up in the muscles. Yeah, but I'm, I'm sure he, he's, he's going. You know, for the big push now. Yeah. It's going to go blazing guns. Yeah. It's funny, I think he's standing on the line every time he's serving. The centre line, yeah. obviously, yeah. yeah. We'll keep an eye on that. And now they're both fired up. Yeah. One set apiece, and now it's going to be. to the forehand, good clear again. Good using the baseline there, that's it. Well, it just emphasizes the fact that he really gave up on that second game because oh, of, yes. you know, here he is, he looks a different man. Yeah. Full of energy again. 
the gap was too big. Yeah. Can he keep it going, though? 50 minutes already, this semi final's been in progress, and you couple that with the last good two high matches. Serve. Very good high yeah. serve again. That is superb, isn't it? Well, this guy is Peter doing exactly the same shot from his forehand and doing it just as well. But it just shows what a good shot it is. Middle, middle, yeah. Gulps of air. I think though that Lindan is actually making more mistakes than obviously what he's done in the past and all that. He's become more human. Yeah, there's no longer that aura of invincibility. Good play. Yeah. So too is that. some of these smash speeds into perspective. Ivo Karlovic, the fastest ever serve in men's tennis, was 2.51. Yeah. Lindan's already hit a smash at 2.81. Yeah. That's unlucky, look at that. Ooh. Just top of the tape. The attack from Peter was a lucky defense from Lindan. Watch out, yeah. Oh. 
Well worked, Rally. That's a very good smash, that one. It's good he's not going cross court. He can follow in on this one, shoot Linda and get it back. Doesn't have to cover the full diagonal. Good play. As you can see, it's not so much the speed that's doing the damage, it's the, the angle and the placement. The idea is fine. It's just going out. Yeah, Peter can't afford too many of, of these rallies now. It's been two long ones in a row. And uh, he's got to find some quick points here. Has he got to go for the lines more then? Or when you say he's got to find some quick points here, what? What do you mean take, by that? Take the, take the right chances. Uh, if it's a low serve, attack that low serve. Yeah. Um, you know, find a, a good angle now. Not go crazy, but find good angle and maybe a good follow up. Play the net. Play the net there. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. But you know, that's the kind of thing. Yeah. He had the chance of the net. And Lindan just staying in there. That's clever play. has to be very, very careful here. Three-point advantage do opened up for Lindan. Well, the Danish fans in fine voice. Yes, they're supporting Peter all the way, and it's, it's great to hear. Just pushed it wide. Uh, dangerous times if you're a Danish fan. That's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, well played. Well, and now the semi final has been in duration so far, and they're still playing badminton of the very, very highest quality. How on earth? First of all, the dive, and I thought this one was going to be the winner. Such an important rally, that. Look at the difference between 10-5 and 9-6. There's still oh. a belief that Peter can close the gap. Huge difference.
come, 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 come. Oh, yes. Nicely done. Takes it early. Yeah. It's got good the options. Pace. Yeah, very good pace by Lindan. Yeah, that's well taken. That's the sort of shot you were referring to yes. then. Yep. Gotta take those chances. It's very nice, very nicely played. The net does get up, and it means that Lin Dan has a four point advantage as the players change ends in this deciding game. Now, on two minutes already. Saw the Dane bent double yesterday during his quarter final match. Not quite at that stage yet. who are still urging Peter Gader to keep pummeling the deep backhand corner. Yes, you're so right. Your Danish is improving. Yeah, thank you. This yep. is what I talked about again. This this is easy points. Physically yes. easy points. Yes. So take the half chance yeah. and try and anticipate the net because yeah. that's where you're going to make the difference. Exactly. Yeah. Mm, let's close the deficit to just two points. Oh, wow, oh that's, that's nice. nice. That's nice. Again. <laughs> The skies is so good. That, after an hour and five minutes, is fast. That's very... It reminded me a lot about the uh, Olympic final in 2008 because that was he was doing the whole time Yeah. against uh, Chong Wei. Attack and move in, attack and move in. Do you think Lee Chong Wei is in the arena here watching right now? No. No. Oh, my goodness. What on earth happened there? He knows the players so well. They've played one another for the past, I don't know how many years, though, three players. Yeah. So I think he's resting. Yeah, OK. Dreadful error on serve. 
I think the, the shot was sticking to his fingers, the glue. Good clear. Attack. Yeah. That's the way. <laughs> Crowd is having fun. Danish fans, I assume. <laughs> of course. I'm not too sure, actually. Yeah. But uh, whoever it was, they were having fun. But it's still only two points between them. Good guess. Interesting start to the rally, though, Morton. I thought that Peter Gader, his low serve, played very deep as far yeah. as a, a low serve is yes. concerned. Into the court. Into the court. Means it's more difficult for Lindan to then play a tight spinning net shot. Yes, and tempting him to push flat. So it goes two ways. Yes, still thinking clearly, obviously. Well, the fans here in Wembley Arena really have been treated to some wonderful badminton today. Oh. Uh, suddenly a backhand smash from nowhere. Same thing applies. Good chance. He's sticking with it. He's doing exactly what he should be doing. And Peter Gader now just one point behind Lindan. Come, 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 come. Oh, uh. oh. Yeah. Well, for an awful moment there, I yeah. thought he'd hurt himself. Get up, get up. No. Just, just a little yeah. bit slow yeah. to recover. I've already seen one injury today. We don't need to see another. No gin. With China in the mixed doubles, the very first of our semi finals this morning. It is all level. <laughs> and Peter Gaida is into the lead. Well, very interesting. Peter Gader just asked the umpire if he could go and towel down. Umpire said no, but now he's asking for the court to be mopped. <laughs> so he gets he, his rest anyway. Uh, absolutely, and get to towel down as well. So now he only needs to change the shot. Yeah. <laughs> Three standard things to get a little break. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, it's a tactical break. It's soon. It's, it's fine, I think. You know, it's, it's all part of the game. Yeah, and quite obvious, Lindan was uh, quite relieved to have a, a quick gulp of liquid as well. Oh, oh magnificent. Good. Absolutely magnificent. Finds the line. So are we better than Singapore now? Yeah. <laughs> P 
Play it back, yes. Ah. I think the idea was totally right. Again, seeking the points, seeking his fortune. She's just shouting to Peter, come on, come on, you can do it. You've got to dig deep now. Well, in Singapore, Lin Dan won the final game 21-15. But I don't remember it to be 15 or... Watch out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, good chance again. Uh, you have to give credit to Lim Dan. Four straight points for the Olympic champion. Since the danger at 14 15, he has played. Very good rallies to get back into the lead. Well, it's always a danger when Lindan comes forward to the net. Final little change of pace there, having played the fast pushes, and that was clever. That's a bold move, Lars is on. Don't attack. Don't let him uh, tempt you. Oh. Uh, there's a tired, tired looking shot from Peter Gaida. And now it's a run of six straight points from Lindan from 14 15 adrift to now be on the verge of victory. It is five match points to the Olympic champion. Seven straight points to close out the match. Just when you thought the Dane really had a chance. Well, a remarkable performance by both men, I have to say. And what a remarkable world championship career Peter Gaida has had. Five times a medalist. But from his perspective, all has come up short. One silver and now four bronze medals and his world championship career comes to an end. Peter Gader at the age of 34 has stated this will be his last world championship. Yeah, delightful in Dan. Had to work so hard for that. Well, he's thrilled us over the years in world championships as Peter Gader. 
and he's thrilled the crowd here in Wembley again this week. He thanks the crowd because it is a fond farewell for the ever popular Dane. And a pat on the back from Lindan as well. 21-15 deciding game in an hour and 15 minutes. Well, in many people's opinion, it has now lined up the dream final. The world number one, the All England champion Lee Chong Wei of Malaysia, up against the Olympic champion and three times winner of this world title, Lin Dan of China. Well, what a guy.